Do you have lots of little treasures and know where to store them? Well, this project is perfect for you. With a bit of creative flair, you'll have your very own treasure chest with 25 little drawers to hold all of your precious little keepsakes. The essential products you'll need are the Kaisercraft 25 Drawer Treasure Chest, Project Life Strawberry Edition Paper Pack, Kaisercraft Metal Knobs and Book Plates, and the Bella Pearls. First, we're going to start with the sides. You'll need to cut 8cm strips of paper with a couple of extra strips for the joins. Working on one side at a time, glue your strips down using PVA glue. Then, joining the two strips together, just slightly overlapping. Allow the glue to dry. You could use a soft cloth or a sponge to smooth out all the bubbles. Tidy up any of the edges using a sandpaper file if necessary. Always make sure you work in a downward motion. Now we're going to do the top. Repeat the same process you did for the sides, but cutting your strip of paper at 8.5 centimetres wide. Now it's time to make the drawers. Fold and assemble each drawer using a bit of sticky tape to hold them together as you go. That took a while. You'll need to be patient with this next bit as well. Now you need to cut 25 strips at 68 millimetres each of a variety of colours. You might want to use a paper trimmer for this one. Now you can stick your strips of paper to the box using the PVA glue. Here's a little tip. I always start at the back of the box, going around the sides, the front, the other side, and back to where you started. That way the join will be hidden. Using a craft knife, carefully remove the paper around the cutout. Then using a file, distress the edges. Now you can add some handles or book plates to the front of your drawers. To attach the brass knobs, you'll need to use a pencil to mark exactly where you want your holes to go. Then using a hand drill, use the second smallest drill piece. Drill exactly where you've marked your pencil. Insert the screw from the inside of the box into the hole. Now attach the knob, screwing until tight. To attach the book plates, you need to do the same as you did with the knobs. Mark the position with a pencil. This time you need to make two holes. Once the book plate's in place, insert the fasteners into the hole, then separate and flatten out the prongs on the inside. Lastly, add a little bit of colour to the exposed surfaces. Using this Opera Pink stamp pad, wipe along the surface. 